Hi, I'm Joel, and this is Noble Ideas. There is a problem in online learning. When quarantine struck and introduced millions of children to online learning, the reception of it was overwhelmingly negative. Teachers unfamiliar with computers are under heavy months of stress. Students had to work longer hours to make deadlines meet. Works are being submitted less, etc. Despite online learning being the future of education, it failed the opportunity to make a good first impression globally. Online learning is an education framework based around computers. Simply imagine using PDFs instead of textbooks, imagine using note apps instead of pen and paper, and you get the basic idea of what online learning is. Computers are a vast and versatile tool for learning. It's an expansive library full of free and available information that can be accessed with a few clicks. What most schools are doing now barely touches the tip of the iceberg of what computers can offer. Online education provides its own challenges and opportunities. What would be hard in traditional education, such as sneaking in answers for quizzes, is easy online. You can just search things up. And what would have been simpler in traditional education, such as group projects, it's a bit more complicated online as there's a lack of tangible human interaction. Online and traditional education while similar, are different in many aspects. Those differences are what makes them efficient in their own rights. Those differences matter. The education system's failure to properly integrate digital education is because of the mindset that online learning is literally just a digitized version of traditional learning. Back when quarantine procedures were announced, a lot of education institutes simply just substituted traditional tools with its online counterpart. So like I said, paper into PDFs, Notes into note apps, graphs into Excel, etc. They work, but they're not efficient enough. Try asking students what their opinion of online learning is. It's easier to get distracted or derailed. It's harder to keep pace and focus. For most of class hours, they're probably pretending to learn while treating themselves with distractions. And as a student myself, I can confirm that is true. Right then, the solution is to restrict distractions like YouTube, right? Well, yes, but not exactly. Putting too much restrictions on computer functions just means that you're using online learning as a substitution for traditional learning. To use digital education efficiently, teachers must find creative new ways to challenge students to test their knowledge. One tried and true method are personal projects. They can reveal a lot about a student's knowledge about a subject, as well as improving their researching skills, management skills, memorization skills, and more. A good technology-integrated education system creates its own foundation. Traditional learning was made during the late Industrial Revolution. Its purpose is to help kids turn into better factory workers. That is a different era to today, where digital technology is integral to everyday life. Therefore, a truly efficient online education system puts computer sciences as its foundation, as opposed to industrial work. This is how you prepare children for the future. Manual labor will soon be replaced by machines, and what the world will need are people who understand technology. Knowing how to code today is like knowing how to read in the Middle Ages. It's a safe feature that can be assured, but the education system must be reformed first. Like and subscribe to watch more content like this.